you know it's not a need to show that to all things past, present and future. A big welcome to my team. Bye girl, bye girl. Now before we get started, because uh, YouTube are aware of how we're now doing the housekeeping of the channel. Now we're doing that at the start of the shows rather than the end. Ah, good thinking. Yeah. Yeah, I'm plus I keep getting ton ton right the end. Yeah, so housekeeping first. Um if you haven't already done so, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if there's a second and once you are subscribed, you never see when you kind of come down, including both of the videos below me. And you can ring the bell to make sure you sit up to all those content. And my official YouTube has at George Hand. And you can form, find me on the following social media platforms. Right, that's it going. Who oh, really like that? Do you like it? Because yeah. I was thinking, it's probably better if you start the housekeeping at the beginning of the, sh beginning of the shows rather than the end, just in case some people haven't stuck away through to the very end. And plus, I have on both of the shows across the, the brand. I've got tongue tied the housekeeping, so this should make it easier. I've already done it on Tiro Port. Ah, so I'm just working my way through all the other shows all the time. Right, so we're kind of carrying on with our thoughts on the announcements we had back in April at that little press conference at DLP's 32nd birthday. So today we're going to be doing um, Studio One. Now, of course, already under renovations uh -huh, at the time of recording this, this show. Um, how are you feeling, guys? Blanket, sad, yeah. It's end for now, right? I know, I know. I mean, it's such an iconic, you know, area in the park of Walt Disney Studios. And that really, and I think Studio One's closer really hits home that, oh no, this is the, this is the beginning of the end, and yeah, it's it's pretty much you know that studio theme you know it's it's gone yeah just like that mm -hmm. so sad uh really so sad okay so yeah so studio one is currently undergoing its year-long uh renovation uh which began at the end of april it's but it's expected to last one year. So basically, don't visit the visit the studios park until mid summer twenty twenty five. Well, that's what we're doing anyway. Yeah, yes, like no go, no go. Um, so those of you who have had who have had a trip so far this year, or are planning a trip before April next year, best of luck, and well done, you troopers. Having to navigate the new entrance because to me that's like no, that's putting me off. No, I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, no, 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 not worth. Not worth it. Yeah, no, it's not worth it. No, uh, we will come back when it's all nice and done up and all shiny. No, no, not like that. No, not like the rep. Not like the pun. What was that supposed to be? I think it's supposed to reference the song from Moana. We've never seen it. No, but I know the song because I, I did it part of my Disney 100 project last year. Oh, yeah. Okay, that pun did not last because I had to explain it to all of them. Anyways, but yeah. Um, yeah, so we now know that it's going to be completely different. The whole Studio One is going to be transformed. And you know, gone. Yeah, it's gonna be completely transformed. And but I don't, I don't like the new theming. Right? Okay, let's go straight to it because we know that because the new theming is gonna be known as Studio Premiere. Ah, so it's gone from Studio One to Studio Premiere. Now, why is it still having a studio's name if? It's no longer going to be a studio's park. It's going to, it's going to be like a, like a big, great, gigantic jigsaw. Uh -huh. um, now, I just don't get the 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 the, 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 the theme behind it. It's like it's going to be like a Hollywood gar Hollywood themed garden. Uh -huh. It's going to have studio, and it's basically like you're going to be a, a premiere of a film. Now that w would work if it was still a studio speed part, mm -hmm. but it's not. No, nope. it's not anymore. It's completely just. But why? What is the theme going to be at that park in say? I don't know. 
if you if your prediction's correct this time next year or within the next five years. Uh, what's that feeling gonna be? Nothing. Like you just said, big jigsaw. But it doesn't make but I just don't I was you I don't get why the, the entrance is still having a studios theme where it's no longer a studios park. It's a, mm -hmm. it doesn't make it doesn't make much sense anymore. Yeah, because the idea is, is, is you're gonna walk through, is you're gonna, is you're gonna walk through that entrance that you would have done, done since two thousand and two, but it's gonna look completely different, and it's gonna be you are entering a premiere for a great big Hollywood blockbuster. Now, I had a had an idea had an idea that, that you could easily do whenever Disney's got new films coming or Pixar's got new films coming out, you could put along one of the walls, you could put post the posters. Of those upcoming films, same as how like on the on the show, on the street, on the outside of the one building, you do see posters for upcoming films. Yeah, on the um, on the left hand side of the, of the street, street. Yeah, for the front, you would have a poster that uh of the upcoming film about to come out. <laughs> and on the left and on the side, you'd be posters of other, of other stuff that's going to be coming out in the near future. Yeah. And of course. The last one to have that honour on Studio One was Wish. Gillian. You are so gonna regret not going, not having joined us last year because it was Wish themed. You had Wit, Wish was on the final Studio One. You had Wit, you had a little sneak peek. Uh, uh, before we had Frozen Invitation, you would have loved it last year, Rachel. Yeah, but I got to see the actual film. Yeah, but uh, Wish is such a brilliant film. Don't listen to, listen to the critics. Um, but yeah, but so you could do that, but it doesn't really make much sense anymore. Why are we still having a studio themed area if we're not having a studio themed park? Which is, I think, the point that Swiss Park is trying to make. The themings do, do not add up! None of this park adds up! Now, it's like, serious, it's like really, you're making a huge effort to transform this park. But you're only giving like 80%. Because we're still going to have a little bit here, a little bit there. Like, like, I bet we do a full transformation of this park. Or we just leave it as it was in 2002. <laughs> no, not Anne Marie's song. I knew what you, I knew. I knew what I was going to do that. I knew I was going to do that. You didn't explain that one, did we, Mick? No, lovely song. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, a lot of puns on today, I don't know why. Um, probably just shows how we don't take it. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, Studio One, it was, it was really pretty. I mean, to me, I just saw it as an entrance and restaurant on Cleese. But it was a nice area, really pretty place to walk in as your, as your end, big entrance to the park. Yeah. It was pretty and gorgeous. Ah, but always so cramped. I'll tell you about it. Yeah, always would feel like feel cramped whenever you go into Studio One because the entrance was never big enough. And this was what we always we always said about in back in twenty eighteen when this was first announced. I think all of us kind of felt, not just, uh, what are they going to do for the entrance? Because the entrance right now it does not, um take into the account of the guest flow. <laughs> so how are you gonna make that you know improved to accommodate the guest flow for these new areas while still have the park up at the same time? It just Yeah, because we were wondering how they're gonna do studio make studio one bigger. They had it big on the concept art. So they're thinking, well how are you gonna do that while the park's still open? Well the net result of course is you close studio one but you Find a different way to get people in and out of the park, which just—I think it's a bit silly, really. Why would you for for I would have just closed the Genius Park, really. So you'd have had the heart, really. But we've got the Olympics in three weeks. Are you mad? Okay, okay, okay. Hear me out. Right now, what much is there in, 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 in the studio's park to do? Right, as of right now. 
He's got all the shadows up and running. Yes, but a lot of them have high agencies. I mean, yeah, it's what? It's only going to be him the summer balls. It goes away. What's the point in that? I've seen the fo the photos of, of the theatre. Now, it looks... Oh, wait, like that looks... It looks so gorgeous. It looks... I just think, how much effort's going to that? Are we only having open during the sun, Mose? Are you insane? Mose actually got all year round and more, more in band stunts. Nah. Dreadful. But yeah, so there's that. You've got Toy Story Playland, you've got Avengers Campus, and you've got the Pix World of Pixar, and that's about it. And of course, Twilight Zone, Tower of Terror. That's about it. It's not really much going on you could do. It's his part. I mean, construction walls literally left, right, and centre. I think it would have just just been best if you just closed this year's park for a whole for this for this year. So you reopen it about the summer of next year, and under the new name, Bob Bomb, ready to go. That's what I would have done, just to make it easier. But anyway, let's come back to Studio One's renovations. We now know it's going to be known as the Studio Premiere. Now, um. So we know all locations inside Studio One have now closed, which sadly doesn't include restaurant employees. Um, and we are expected to get some new stuff inside this Studio Premier. Yeah. Um, while I just look up some of the stuff, you two back in April, which was it? Which was you that said the art was lovely, but it was not good. Sorry, stop. You, when we saw the images, you said, oh, that looks lovely. Ain't gonna look like that. Oh, I did. You did? You did. You did. I did. Because I just thought, well, it's concept art images, isn't it? I mean, and of course, we know about your thing about concept images, George. It's not really worth showing it because it's not gonna look like that. I, uh, I hate concept art. I really do for any project. Uh, I, re I really do. I just make, I just find it so hard to, to get to, I do, do not like because it just feels like the end product it's not going to look like that yeah so yeah I'm just not really a fan of it but anyway um but I thought that like, I agree with you guys I thought they looked really 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 good okay um and it really shows the scope that they're gonna that they're gonna do when this when they reopen it but we'll have to see how much of that is it is it going to look like the next result is it gonna look like what we were shown yeah. back in the spring or is it just gonna basically be yeah nah. just no not god now nah. um yeah but they were doing really, some, but there were some really good concept images and i thought wow this looks like because i do not want to go from a pretty thing to a ghastly because studio one was pretty ah, crap studio one was pretty so I don't want to go from a pretty thing to a ghastly thing. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and especially how this is the only way you can get into what will now be Disney Adventure World. That's the only way you can get in. You do not want to look, walk through something that's ghastly. Uh -uh. Especially they'll have stuff as well. Yeah, they'll still have a, they'll, they'll still have a shop. They'll still have a restaurant. Mm -hmm. So you've got to make sure this area is nice because people will use it. Just like how they did used to go on. Yeah. Well, yeah, because yeah, because restaurant cuisine is always busy. Hat. Well, you try and name any restaurant Disney Lab has that's not busy. Well, there you go. <laughs> uh, I am so gonna miss um, restaurant on Cleese because I think I've talked about previously how it's the only restaurant in Disney Lab in not Disney not did I say Disney Paris? No, I'm got I'll backtrack that. Oh no. Sorry. It's the only restaurant in Walt Disney Studios Park that we're able to definitely, we would definitely eat something. Because as we all know, finding food at Disney Disneyland Paris is really, 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 really tricky. And that's not going to change anytime soon, my friends. So if you can find a good restaurant in either park, that you will know you'll definitely eat something, you may as well just keep going back to that one night in after the whole of your stay. Yeah. And in the Studios Park, that's what restaurant on Cleese was. We'd always would go there because we knew we'd eat something. Um, so I really, I really was gonna, so I really am gonna miss that. And we do know there's gonna be a new restaurant that will come in its place. Uh -huh. And 
when we get to next year, when it opens, when see, when see you probably open next year, I'm going to be too close out what the restaurant is. Because I'm hoping it would be similar to Restaurant Cree. Oh, I think that would be a good idea. Because they knew what, because literally with Restaurant Cree, you had a, you had a winning, winning formula. <laughs> so the best thing to do would be just, you know, just keep it as it was. But different food means different now. That would work for it. Yeah, otherwise, what we're gonna do on the on the on particular gonna do on the last day, because on the last day of our trip, we spend it in the whole of the two years park. So, what we're gonna do? That's that's just oh, that's a good point. That's probably you probably have to we probably have to go into the Disney beach and raid the McDonald's. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because um, because getting anything to eat in South the Gaul Airport. Not uh, not dear Bob. Yeah. Once you go through those gates, there's literally nothing, nothing, just the gates. Like there's literally nothing. So no, no even do like Smith or nothing like that. No, 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 like no Starbucks. No, nothing. Once you go through those gates, you're through the gates. That's it. You're done. So uh, yeah, so we always make sure we need to have something to eat before we get to go, go back to the uh, go to the airport on our. Uh, then we come home because it's gonna be yeah. Um Yeah, that was all that must be really bear in mind. We hardly go into that McDonald's anymore. I can remember in, in, um, in my early trips we did always make sure we would go into the McDonald's Disney Village. But the last kind of five years we haven't really done it because I because I just feel like I we just want to get into the park. Ah, it's not I just make the most of time in the park. I don't and plus, I can order McDonald's any time I like back here in England. So, uh, yeah. Get me in the bar. Yeah. But I think you're going to have to make an effort with the new one. At least, yeah. When the new, when the new one opens, and your 30th. <laughs> is, it, is it still, that's been, that's been an extra, but is it still on course of 2026? The new McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, yeah, but anyway, um... Yeah, so how are we feeling going in, going because this is a massive view right now. The whole studio one is literally right now closed, board up, the cranes are at work. How are we feeling about that? Well, it feels really, 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 really weird. And I can add more reads to that. I can easily do, do the battle brush. Oh, great, 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 if you've not seen it, it's the episode where Basil turns his flat into a into a haunted mansion, and do ghost and and charges people to do ghost tours. It's a great episode, but we get the point. I make you try, mate. Yeah. Um. It just feels weird to see that all now closed up. Given how iconic that area is in the in the, in the park, yeah. even though to most people it's just the entrance. But for us, no other people. No, that's where you can go into a nice little shop area. You can go into something to, something to eat. Well, it's the only place you're going to have something to eat there. <laughs> that's not a dig, it's true. <laughs> yep, that's not a dig. It's the actual truth. You know, so it just feels weird. It really, as we've been saying, it now really feels that, that is it. Studios Park is gone. Yeah. That was, that really was the last piece left of the Studios Park and that feeling. And now, Studio One is under construction. It's under redevelopment. That really is the end of the Studio Park. That is it. Done. Gone. It's no more. And that makes me feel really sad because, because I can still remember my first visit bit, to the DOP nineteen years ago. You've got to come next year. So it's on our trip next year. Because it's yeah, because next year's our twentieth, so you've definitely got to come on the trip next year. Uh, yeah, I can remember my first hit and all these great attractions in what's your partner like, like Studio Chantor, Steam Magic, Mars Action, and I just love the theme of it all. How I feel like I'm being taken behind the scenes and being shown the inner workings of a of a of a film lot. Yeah, I just love that, and of course, obviously, slowly the last ten years, well, ten to twelve years. It's been going bit by bit by bit by bit away, and now it's all gone. There is literally now nothing left. I mean, the show buildings still are still there, and they have other shows, but 
anything that made Studios Park the Studios Park is now literally essentially gone. And that is sad. That part... When the park does change to its new name, it's going to look completely unrecognisable. It's going to look completely un unrecognisable. And it's going to make me feel really, really old. <laughs> oh, yeah, because like, well, over there used to be Studio Travis Hall. Over there was more action. That used to have Studio Magic and get the... And I'd be like, get the violins out. And... <laughs> yep. I wore in my twilight years. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, yet the main park's hardly changed. And it's ten years older than the, the DIW. Yeah. <laughs> well, what would you change the main park? All right. Um, yeah. Did we feel that this need needed to be done, Studio One? This, this, this this reaffirmation. Was there any way around it? Or... Um... Oh, it's a... Tr it's, I can, it's tricky. Can I bring it up? about you, Mickey? I can... Well, come to me in a second. Okay, you go for it. Right. It's tricky because I think you can make the argument for yes and the argument for no. I mean, I don't think it was already in Studio One was fine. Yeah. It's that the only problem was it's too narrow. Which has been the problem for 22 years. Yep. It's too... That part... That entrance is just... It's just too... Narrow. When I mean, you compare it to the main park, it's just not... No, it's no comparison. The main park handles the guest flow better than the second park. Mm -hmm. So, you need to make that entrance wider. But could there... Could there be... To come back to your point. Could there be, like, be a way that they just make the entrance wider, but they still keep everything inside. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. I mean, because we right now don't know what's going in there. No. We don't... No. We... Right now, we don't really know what is going to definitely go inside the studio premiere. Apart from a new restaurant, a new shop, that's about it. The shop. So... I mean, we're going to have half this question maybe when we get nearer to April next year. So maybe when we get to Easter next year, mm -hmm. when it'll be nearly tied to get open, maybe that's where we have to judge, you know, oh, could it still have been the same old studio one, but just the bigger entrance, or was it really worth it? I mean, the content images does look great, but I just don't know if they're going to be able to make it, work, make it live up to the, what they promised us. That's what I, just, that, that's what I feel. And, like, we all agree... It cannot be an ugly eyesore. Because that's what we're going to probably be stuck with for the next 20, 30 years. Until they decide to do another name change. <laughs> you think? Well, I don't... That name's not popular. No. That name is not popular. So, give it, 20, give it 15, year, 15 years and it'll be gone. You are a pro spend on that now, do you? No. <laughs> anyway, um, so come, come to me on that. I, um, no, I think no. You, no, no. I don't think there was, there was a way you could have kept everything currently in Studio One and just refer, make it all bigger. I think no. I think, I think maybe it was time for something different. Given how this park is going to look completely different to what it was in 2002. Thank you, Anne Marie! It's going to look completely diff different. Um, so I kind of felt that if you want to stay the same as it was, but it made it look a bit diff bigger, the main edge is wider, the might get some more confident. I think it would have looked completely out of place. I mean, it's going to look out of place, because it's going to have this stupid Hollywood view where there's no Hollywood left inside that park. Well, apart from the Hollywood Tower, Hollywood Tower, Tower. Okay, there's that, but how long is that going to last? They cannot get rid of Tower, Terror. No! No! Ah, ah. No. No. Bitch, you know... But you know where it, where it is to the Prince of the Park. It's literally the outskirts of Avengers Campus. Uh, uh. If they dare touch Tara Terra, I'm going 
a riot. And I might join you. You don't go on it! I know. But compared to what, what the DCA one was, I'm like, no. Because when we went to DCA, we saw how... When we were in DCA, I had no idea that that was the Tower of Terror. Because I just saw weird scaffolding, there was a guy's galaxy side. And it was you, Mickey, that said, that's the Tower of Terror. I'm like, no! Yeah, because they just literally just mar uh, marbleized it. And it looked like a horrible eyesore on, on the outside. I know, that's why I don't want. I, Tower of Terror needs to say the same to us. So I'm uh, sorry, if they ever dare try and touch that. Oh, no. Uh, uh, no, me and Teresa will chain ourselves to it. We'll do a bit of a dip link. We will, we will, we will do a big credit. We will chain ourselves to the tower. We're not moving until. So, uh, yeah. But, um, right. So, just about to finish off. How confident do we feel about this refurbishment for Studio One when it becomes Studio Premier next year? Just to finish off, I'm gonna go to you first, Rachel. Um, I just feel like it's I do. I just feel like I'm completely too right right now because I, I just love. I love the concept that was shown back in the spring. I did love that, but I just worry: Are they going to be able to actually deliver on what they promised? And if they can't, well, then we're going to be stuck with a great big ice saw for the next God knows how long. Um, I just want the bits that makes you want Studio One to still be there, but obviously under a different, under a new boom. Yeah, that was what. Yeah, that was what. So I. So I, I fell on, on, on the fence. Well, I'll get off. Well, I will get off the fence. I will not be Switzerland. Mm -hmm. You can't say that next year! Oh no! Mickey! Can't be on that next year in May! <laughs> Mickey! And I will. Oh! Well, at least he didn't miss. Did, did miss at least he didn't miss gender. You cannot have a go at the Swiss until June 2025! <laughs> uh, God. Should I get back to my point? I think I did quick. You better hope Nebo's not watching <laughs> after that. Um, I actually do feel quite confident about the transformation. Just please get handle the guest though. Handle the guest flow. If you cannot handle the guest flow, then there's no point in trying that for you. And I will finish off by uh, saying, um, as much as I did love Studio One in its current old iteration, I do actually agree with Mickey. It probably was time to do something different. And hopefully next year we will not be disappointed. So that's all from us. Until next time, say it's merciful. Just an attack. Bye bye. Bye bye.